The future of the Democratic Party is in question after Donald Trump's presidential win, and that is prompting former DNC chair Howard Dean to make a big announcement. I want to bring in former Vermont governor and MSNBC contributor Howard Dean. Good morning, Governor. Let's make it official. What would you like Good to morning. announce? Good uh, morning. Well, um, I am very interested in, in the chairmanship of the DNC. Uh, not so much because I think I'm the only person who can fix it, but I think we need a full-time chair. Uh, I, when I last came in, it was uh, 2009. We didn't have the House, the Senate, or the presidency. And when I left, uh, we had, uh, excuse me, 2005. And when I left in 2009, uh, we had the House, the Senate, and the presidency. Uh, we have a lot of work to do in the Democratic Party. My plan is to reach out to young people, particularly. They are devastated by this loss. I think they now understand that politics matters. Uh, and my plan is to do that. Uh, because they're going to be the—they already are the largest demographic group in the country, and they are the group that m voted most heavily uh, for Hillary Clinton. So, uh, you know, I, I, we got to rebuild this party, and I know how to do that. So it's official. You are running. That's my plan. Now, I, look, I, I, I like Keith Ellison a lot. He's a very good guy. Uh, there's one problem: you cannot do this job and sit in a political office at the same time. It's not possible. We've seen what happens. Debbie Wasserman Schultz was not the only person to ever do that. It does not work. This is more than a full-time job. We have to rebuild from what has been a tragedy, uh, not only for the uh, Democratic Party, but uh, for we, perhaps for the country. We don't know. Um, so this is a big, big rebuilding job. And uh, I like Keith. I'd be happy to help and support him, but not if he's going to sit in Congress. Can you and convince? There are a very large number of DNC members who believe that. Can you convince Bernie Sanders and Chuck Schumer of that? Because they are both backing Keith, and they got a lot of sway. I think that's fine. I respect both of them enormously. I, I, I plan to talk to Bernie. Uh, I've talked to Keith already tw twice, and we're very good friends. I went door to door with him in his very first race in Minnesota. Um, but. Um, you know, they're all sitting politicians, and of course, they're blinded to the idea that there's some things that, that have to be done full time. We have to do this full time. We don't have the presidency. We need a full time chairman. Well, Governor, after this election, I'm sure the blinders, whether they like it or not, are going to come off. Earlier this morning, Michael Moore did say, God bless Howard Dean. But if this is about moving forward, going forward, Howard Dean is going backwards. You had the job from 2005 to 2009. What do you think of that? I think I did pretty well. I mean, I, I think the, everybody in the Democratic Party would give their, give their eye teeth to have a chair who didn't have the House, the Senate, or the presidency and left after four years with the House, the Senate, and the presidency. So I, I would argue, I guess, that if you looked at the records, pretty hard to beat that. You did well. The DNC did not do well this time. What mistakes were made? Oh, there were lots of them. Um, first of all, they never should have taken sides in the race. Uh, I never permitted that. I, I, I didn't even vote in my own uh, Vermont presidential primary because to, to not tell who you voted for is not the same as being neutral. Uh, so I had to be the referee between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama in 2008. Um, I think the Demo D and the rule was if you wanted to support a candidate, that was fine. Leave and go work for the candidate, but you can't do that in the DNC. So that's one thing that we have got to get back to. Uh, I, we've just got to do some grassroots organizing. We've got to get, frankly, more uh, increase the number of minority candidates who can compete, not just in minority districts, but in white districts. Did the um, oh, excuse me? Go ahead. So uh, did the ahead. DNC fail Democrats by nature of? I mean, they cleared the field for Hillary. They served her up on a silver platter and gave Democrats very little other choice. I mean, Bernie Sanders came out of nowhere. That is not true. They did not clear the field. The DNC doesn't have the power to clear the field. It was a great race. Hillary Clinton won it for a variety of reasons. Bernie, I think, contributed an enormous amount to the party, and I'm very glad he ran. Um, but to say that the DNC may have tried to clear the field, the DNC doesn't have that much clout in a presidential race. Well, the DNC held its first staff meeting since the election yesterday. The Huffington Post reports that there were staffers in there yelling at Donna Brazile, claiming that she helped elect Trump. How well, much I read unrest? The, I, I read the report. It was one staffer. So, uh, you know, I, I, I look, there's going to be on the losing side, there's going to be turmoil. I ha have an enormous experience about what it's like to be on the losing side. I lost my presidential run <clears throat> and then I had to resurrect the, d the DNC. Uh, the best thing to do is not to start fighting each other. Uh, we've got to we've got to work together. 
Uh, we've got to have an orderly, reasonable process to pick somebody who can get along with everybody. Uh, and we've got to have somebody who's willing to do this job full time, full time. This is not a 40 hour a week job. This is an 80 or 90 hour a week job. You cannot serve in political office, whether it's Congress, governor, or anything else, and be the chairman of the DNC and serve us well. How do you feel about Donald Trump as our new president? We'll find, I, I think we're going to see what he does. Uh, you know, it, 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 we saw a lot of rhetoric on the campaign trail, uh, some of it very destructive. I am disturbed by the uh, apparent permission that this has all given racist groups to increase the number of attacks on members of minorities, which has happened, the same thing that happened in Brexit in England. Um, so I, you know, we'll see how he does. Uh, hopefully, there'll be some things we can all agree on, and that's what we should all hope for. We should hope for his success. Uh, but it's a, you know, it's a, it was a pretty scary campaign. It was a scary can campa campaign, and I know hindsight's 2020. But from where we're sitting now, was Hillary Clinton the wrong candidate for these times? You know, nobody's ever going to know the answer for that answer to that. So it's not much point in speculating about it. Um, she was the odds-on favorite. She earned the nomination fair and square. She got a lot more votes than anybody else. Um, and she didn't win against Donald Trump. What can you say? You know, there'll be a, a tremendous amount of looking backwards. I'm not a big fan of looking backwards, except for learning the lessons of history. All right. Governor Dean, thank you so much for your commitment to this nation. Thanks for having me on. All right. Coming up, the Dow. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.